it's interesting that uh, Jeffrey Immelt, the CEO of General Electric, has been brought in by Obama to be his sort of jobs czar, and yet he seems most expert at offshoring jobs. Immelt is, although I think Immelt is there partly because he had given some speeches saying we probably offshored too many. I mean, you know, the, the really central figure in the history of American offshoring uh, is his predecessor, Jack Welch, who was regarded as the model CEO uh, in this country before the rise of, uh, of, uh, of Microsoft and, and, and high tech. Jack Welch, who once told Larry King that if he could do it, he would put all his factories on barges and locate them uh, wherever at a given moment the labor was cheapest and the currency valuations were most favorable. Uh, Jack Welch, when he re retired uh, about 10 years ago as CEO of General Electric, was given a, a, a column in Business Week because he was a guy so suffused with uh, great wisdom and the model CEO. I mean, uh, this, this is a model, and, and you know, at this point, the model uh, is is one that that makes the American-based multinational corporation and the American people inherently at loggerheads. It's it, you're either you know you're fostering your corporate interests and your CEO pay bonus uh, at the expense of uh, of the United States. There are uh, we I just edited this special report on manufacturing for the new issue of the magazine, and there, I mean there are business figures who see this and who are desperately trying, and not Jeff Immelt, to, to turn it around. Uh, the most articulate of whom is Andy Grove, former CEO of uh, Intel, which is the one semiconductor uh, microprocessor company that still manufactures here, uh, and, you know, is just withering about all this free trade nonsense. And there are a few others who are, are talking this way. 